learning a song from the 70s and Guitar Tricks gives recommendations for amp styles and getting the right tone, but I wasn't happy with the results I was getting. So I started digging a little deeper and then I came across the uh, 57 Bandmaster, which admittedly I knew very little about. Um, the name, year, and the inputs labeled instrument and mic made me think that this was a, an amp for the big band era or maybe for bands before they had could afford PAs or maybe from the early 50s. Um, but I had no idea this amp was going to produce the tones that I heard throughout my youth in the 70s. I plugged in and strummed and the tone was sweet and clear. I kept turning the volume knob up and all of a sudden I found the guitar sound I was after for the song. No distortion pedal needed. Let's take a deeper look at this amp. First, I assume that what is modeled here is the 2013 reissue of this amp, not the original. Fender wanted to be faithful to the original, but only to a certain degree. They wanted the general sound and behavior, but were willing to make changes for modern tastes and recognize that even the historical amps all sounded different from each other. For China Grove, I wanted a fairly dirty sound, but I wanted the bass riff to have enough clarity, and that's what I got. Any lack of clarity is due to my playing. Here's the opening riff without echo or reverb. I kept pushing the volume and really even at 12 I liked how it sounded. But I came back down to about 10. The original recording has some aggressive high-end bite so I used a decently high treble setting and a moderate presence setting to get there, although more about presence in a moment. Although this setup was as close as I've gotten to the desired sound, I was curious about the mic channel. I thought given that a mic level input is lower than an instrument one, the instrument channel might be louder, but I didn't hear it. I could hear no difference between the two channels. I thought maybe I was pushing the amp too hard, so I backed down the volumes and at first didn't hear anything, but once my ears got adjusted and once I found the right settings, I at least imagined I could hear a slightly brighter sound in the instrument channel, but trying to duplicate that for this recording, I'm not hearing it again. eventually take a look at the 5E7 schematic and the only difference I see in the two channels is that the instrument channel has a high bandpass filter that's linked to the volume knob so there would be no difference at max volume and more high band passage going on at lower volumes. I can't be positive the schematic I link to in the description is similar to what was used in the reissue but I would suspect it is. There is no way to choose between the upper and lower inputs on a channel, and I suspect in the actual amp they are identical as well. In addition to having the two channels, the model in Amplitube allows us to bridge the two inputs. The manual says you can click on the small jumper cable to do that. That doesn't work for me, but I can click the toggle from single to bridge, and the jumper cable show as plugged in. My ears don't hear a difference, but you can bridge both ways with the instrument channel as the main channel and bridge over to the lower input on the mic channel, or you can select the mic channel and bridge over to the lower input on the instrument channel. The amp has a standard Fender bass and treble stack, which can make a dramatic difference in the sound. seems to have no effect, at least to my ears, which admittedly don't respond optimally to higher frequencies any longer. I do wonder though if something in the model of this knob did not work. All the knobs on the amp go from 1 to 12. My final sound used the presence at 3, the bass at 5, the treble pretty far up at 9 to get that bite, and both channels set to 10.5 and bridged with the instrument as the primary channel. I didn't feel like I needed any changes to the amp for the lead sound.
For the first two rounds of the opening riff and the breakdown, an echo effect is used. And I use the T-Rex replica pedal. I set the tempo to 408 milliseconds, which corresponds to the 147 beats per minute of the song. I had the repeat at 1.7, which lets me hear three repeats, and the echo and level at four with the brown toggle in the up position. I also added a little plate reverb in after the mixer with a mix knob at 10% and that gave me my final sound. All right, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew about this amp. Don't overlook it because it's called Bandmaster or has 57 in the name. It's a great sounding little amp. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you in the next video.